my name is Henry I want to show you um, or give you a quick um, preview of how quick civil series 7.8 works click file and then click um, interactive guide this is a real-time guide on how the software work okay and just take time to read through the stories then click yes creating panels and floor yes okay we just accept these parameters if you want to change the default settings of course you can do it right here so click yes and I'm actually doing, doing um, three floors okay you can see the floors are created these are panels you can see my ground floor um, the first floor the second floor and the roof level all these are done automatic um, of course if you um, read through the, the the story that was also shown in the interactive guide to create panels is quite very simple um, if you go to modeling uh, I can click rectangular panel I can click click to add a panel okay um, but automatically I mean it's quite very simple the sort you can easily add panels like that and again let me also um, also add something to that um, of course making panel is very simple click click you drop your panel and again um, that's what we call um, reference by panel it's kind of a way that you can um, copy this panel to the left or to the right or below or on top like once you select the panel I can click reference uh, reference reference by panel I can say reference to the right I can say reference bottom I can say reference top it's an easy way to make the panel and once you reference a panel of course you can easily change the dimensions of the panel a very good example I can change the width I can make this um, say 6000 I can make it 6.5 6500 millimeters and I can even change the height to 6000 so that is a very quick way to um, you know make the panels and make the model okay of course to also see the work in 3d is very simple uh, if you click on view and you click 3d you can see the software automatically um, transforms the model into 3d you don't need to do anything okay it's quite very simple the easiest approach we have in the software model in 2d and the software do the rest in 3d for you I mean it's just in a click okay so that is how to make modeling now I'll be going back to our interactive guide which as I said in the beginning we just guide us through the entire process uh, without any trouble okay next the software want to load the structure it has finished um, um, in the bringing out the panels I'll click yes it won't analyze the structure I'll click yes it want to design the structure I'll click yes Okay, to allow it to size all floor beams, I'll click yes. It, that means you know both the the, the the reinforcement for the beam and also check metal to make sure the depth of the beams they all okay with, uh, with deflection. Click yes. Now it wants to size the column, design for reinforcement, determine the sec the section sizes and properties. I'll click yes. Okay, um, I'll click yes. It's asking us for the foundation type we want to use. I'll click e OK for part footing. Or if you want to design rough foundation, you can just click raft. I'll click OK. It wants to create the part footings. Click yes. Size and the part footing, part foundations. Click yes. Okay. Um, click yes. Now the software wants to do the, the detailing. All the way we have model the structure we have um, load analyzed designed now it, it wants to um, do the detailing for the structure I'll click here and you can see the way the interactive guide is going It's quite a very simple flow you know you can easily understand the way the software works and you are playing with the rating so I'll click yes now it's telling me it wants to do the floor the slab details the beam details I'll click yes yes
okay now it wants to um, try to block the design the drawings I'll click yes it's just showing me a collection of all the, all the drawings that it has done like I have the 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 first floor general arrangement showing me my slab details you can see it we'll look at it in details later um, showing me my first floor beam details showing me my second floor general arrangement then the slab details for the second floor the beam details for the second floor then the roof beam general arra arrangement then the roof beam details the column details the foundation layout the foundation details okay now we can now choose um, to t we want to try to block the drawing you can choose the paper size you want in this case we're using a3 you can see I can choose whatever paper, paper size I want okay now I can use an a4 um, then I can select the landscape of course I want it to be in landscape or you can make it portrait and then you can also edit the title block information we might not need to go into that but if you click you can edit the title block information um, for instance I can put consultants I can say um, quick civil service and close and then I can click OK as you can see the the drawing has been titled block now it's asking me if I want to um, 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 send it to PDF right away I can say yes okay I'll just give a name to the PDF file click save and then um, I can click OK so as you can see this is the entire collection of detailed drawing in, in, in PDF um, this is my GA can just browse through this the beam okay so does it nice the detailed drawing um, I can I can I can zoom closer this is the roof beam details This should be the second floor. Yeah, that should be the second floor beam details. So you can see the way the software has, you know, tried to block the work, arrange the the drawings in 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 in, in, in drawing sheet, you know, takes away all those stress from you know you having to do all that manually, you know, and um, you have the entire collection, you know, tied to blocked. You can even see the slab details. You can see the way the bars are neatly called out, the call out lines and um, the bar specifications all clearly written. And you can even see the bars. Okay. And apart from that, you can actually edit the drawing even before you send them to PDF. But that will be in our next video. Next, the software wants to prepare the calculation sheet. Then I'll just click yes. I can select. Um, which format I want calculation sheet to be like the paper size, the orientation, but we can leave that A4 and, and it's portrait. Because of course you can also edit some, you know. Sorry, you can also edit some usual um, information like the, um, um, for instance, I can edit the company name. Um, let me call it um, Quick Civil Series okay then I can click OK click OK okay this is our calculation sheet I can click yes to take it to PDF okay I can just um, give it a name click OK okay this is the calculation sheet in PDF the software have um, taken the calculation sheet in PDF um, you can actually go through it and then you can look the, at the entire calculation sheet um, it's quite very fast 
um, the way crazy calculation sheet you can actually follow all the detailed arithmetic and they are quite a lot of flexibility when it comes to the calculation sheet in the, we'll talk about it in our next lesson okay that is the end of the interactive graph as you can see we have been able to produce the calculation sheet in one hand and the detailed drawing in one hand you know all in quite a very straightforward quick um, 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 operation now the interactive guide is quite very powerful and quite very you know and interactive uh, you can change quite a lot of parameters if you want you can make the software dance to your tune if you want but it's, it's, it's quite a very simple um, way of seeing the new capabilities we have added to the software another way to explore the capabilities we have also added by the time you have finished making your modeling as you can see if you click design and you click automatic help Autom automatic design automatic design is another one-stop um, workflow that we guide you through how to design with the software starting with cr even creating the columns doing the loadings the analysis the design and all the way at the end of the process you'll be able to have your drawing calculation sheet in one hand and your detailed drawing all in PDF and the good news again is if you want to export to AutoCAD as a, D a DSF you can always bring in if you go to view and you change the active view to um, 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 drawing, um, drawing sheet view and then um, you can actually export each of the drawing to AutoCAD as a DSF you know in case you want to add further editing okay that is the end of my preview I hope um, you will like the software and you will enjoy it. Thank you.